Hey, long time no see. You are watching Candid with Candace, and today we're gonna talk about paid parental leave. It's providing moms and dads an opportunity to stay home and bond with the new baby. The leave for mom is called maternity leave. The leave for dad is called paternity leave. Both of those together, we just call it parental leave. So we're facing a crisis in America. We are one of the few developed nations that does not have a paid parental leave policy. Right now, the federal government allows up to 12 weeks of time off from work without penalty. However, that time is unpaid. We can do something about it. But what you find is you'll have uh, new moms and new dads save up sick and vacation time uh, in order to take time off with the birth of a new child. Let's say your employer does offer sick and vacation time, uh, but sick time certainly is not for the birth of a child because you as the individual might be sick throughout the year or maybe you have other children that might be sick or after the baby is born you might be sick. So exhausting all of your sick time for the birth of a child is insufficient. Vacation time. Uh, I'm not sure if you ever had a baby, but I've had one. It is not a vacation. So that's why we are pushing a separate leave policy specifically for the birth or adoption or foster of a new child. And that is called paid parental leave. You with me? Paid parental leave. So what are we doing about those working families where she only has three weeks of vacation, but the daycare does not allow children under six weeks? So there's usually a parent or another um, family member that is watching the child. But this is your newborn. This is your, your brand new three week old baby. And you just want to bond with the baby. You want to spend time with them. So I don't think giving six weeks of pay um, over the course of an 18 year old child's life is anything uh, but minimum of what we should be asked. I think if we support working families and we support the modern workforce, which includes working women, uh, we have to support policies like paid parental leave. One in four women are forced to return to work within two weeks of having a child after they just had a kid and they're returning to work sooner because they can't go without a paycheck. Parental leave reduces infant mortality, policies that support working families, uh, you have a more productive workforce, you have lower turnover, you have an increased retention of your good employees, and it's also a great recruiting tool. Go and look at the costs. You will see that the turnover of having a new employee or mom not coming back to work is much less than replace, replacing that same employee. Inclusive pay parental leave can help close the gender gap. It's a good thing. It's a positive policy and the cost is very minimal. Um, you think about your pay and six weeks of that pay um, over the cost of what you give to that employer. They couldn't afford to have you spend six weeks at home with their new child, with your new child. Call your city and see if they support paid parental leave. Call your employer and ask, are they providing adequate time off for the birth of a new child for new moms and new dads? My name is Candace Quarles. I'm a DeSoto City Council member. You're watching Candid with Candace, and I'm bringing more to you about specific things in policy and politics, and we want to make sure that um, everyone knows um, we are pushing and supporting paid parental leave in 2019. Thank you.